Okay, welcome. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress locally onto your own PC. So even if you haven't got hosting, if you haven't got a domain yet, that doesn't matter. Um, we're going to install it on our PC. This could be good for like training or if you just want to test out some themes. Um, it's generally quite good practice anyway, if you're going to design a site to perhaps do it locally anyway. Some people don't. Um, but anyway, so we're going to show you how to do that. Everything's completely free. We should be up and running in about five, ten minutes or so. So let's get into the video. Okay, so once you click the link that I've put in the description, it will take you over to this website. And then you're going to download the version that you need. So you either want a Windows um, one for Mac or if you're operating on Linux, I guess the majority of the people will be these two. So just download the one you want. Mine's Windows, so I'm going to download that. And then you get this. You don't have to sign into anything. You don't need to create an account. You can just click this no thanks to take me to the download link. Okay, and then once that's downloaded, we're going to run the program. Okay, and then select the language that you want to install it in. And it says here, it seems you have an antivirus one, and in some cases this may slow down. And so you may need to turn your antivirus off. Um, you may not. I'm going to continue with the installation. And then it says, welcome to the Bitnami WordPress stack setup. Okay, so click next. And then you want to leave these two selected. Choose the folder where you want to install it. And then here you put in your details, so you can just put in your name, your email, and then your login. This is going to be your username, so I'm just going to call it anything admin for now will do. Okay, and then once you put your password in, and then confirm it, click next. And then this is your name of the your name of the website, you can change it inside, but um, I'm just going to call it test website. And you just click next. And then this is another, we're not really going to go into the detail on this at the moment. Um, this is just for support, we don't need to worry about this, we're just going to click next. And then it's got deploy WordPress to the cloud, so we want to keep that on, and then just click next. And then now it's ready to start the installation. This website will pop up again. It's just the same one that we downloaded from, so we can just exit out of that. And then just click next. And then we will now start the installation. And then obviously varying factors, depending on the spec of your PC, your download, your Wi-Fi connection, your uh, broadband speed, whatever. So just Go and put, a, put the coffee on, or go and have a drink, and wait for it to install. Right, okay, so once that's done, leave that tick and then click finish. And it'll open up the browser. And then, there you go. WordPress is now installed and then to, uh, to get access to you, you just need to go local host WordPress okay and then just press return and there is your new shiny website so obviously if you want to log in just leave it the same and then just on the end just put login that will take you to the login where you can put in your details <coughs> that you filled in <clears throat> and there you go so there you have complete access now to WordPress website so great for you know trialing stuff out if you're a beginner um, it's a good way to test good way to learn your skills 
play around with themes, play around with settings. And there you go, it's all stored locally on your computer. Thanks very much for watching. My name's John Banks. If you've got any value from this, then hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, drop any comments in below. Thanks very much again, and I'll see you on the next one.